All right, so welcome back. Hopefully all of you guys are having a fabulous day here today. We got some stuff to talk about and actually a pretty important video. Uh, it looks like Netmarble has gone res uh, responded to most of the issues with the game right now. And uh, they gave their take and, and their plans to a degree of what they're working on and what they plan to do in the future. So buckle in, um, get ready for this one. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty lengthy video most likely because it's, it's a pretty long dev notes. Uh, this was the dev notes where I told you last video, expect them to announce the content or detail what their plans are for that big new content and the big plans they have for the end of the year here as we are almost there to the end of the year, only a few months away. Uh, so again, let's jump into it. New to the channel, like and subscribe, helps out a ton. Let's hop over there. Let's check it out together. So again, yesterday we had the entire Overlord uh, collaboration update that happened. At the same time when the stream was live, we actually got the dev notes. Uh, sadly, because of all the stuff that I had to cover, I didn't get to cover the dev notes. Uh, so I thought I'd cover it today and read through it and show you what they're uh, they're sort of working on, which is again, for the most part, it's not a bad dev notes, but it's always that thing of they make a promise, but do they deliver on the promise, right? Uh, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So really can't tell much there uh, until the update of them responding fully, yeah, like doing things comes through. Hello players, um, are you doing well? In this developer note, we per will provide uh, you with information about the collaboration update and improvements to the content that will be added after August and the directions of updates until the end of the year. And it's about time for again, the August dev notes, here we go, about collaboration returns. The beloved collaboration between the players of Grand Cross and Overlord have uh, or will be held again. The Grand Cross X Overlord collaboration was held in Japan and Korea in October 2023, and since its end, it has received so much interest and love from the players that it has been decided to be held again for the first time in 10 months. You can enjoy various collaboration content, such as Underground Labyrinth and Annihilation Battle that were unveiled during last year's collaboration. In addition to the existing collaboration characters, important characters from Overlord will also appear. Various rewards have been prepared to commemorate the collaboration, so I hope you guys enjoy the collaboration. Basically speaking, they're just using the excuse here that it was super popular, so we brought it back super quickly. I still think that it should not have been brought back that quickly. I don't care what anybody says. I get it. Free to plays need this. Free to plays need that. I understand. You should have done it in October then, right? October would have made more sense. Or then January, because, right? It's only a few months after. It was very quick, um, where it, it doesn't feel as hyped. You know what I mean? Uh, like the other units are still kind of alive. They could have gotten more of a buff if they were waiting a little bit longer to release this. Uh, again, I feel that it was way too quick to have the, the collaboration. Uh, hence why the buffs weren't even that good. The buffs were just like mediocre because the units are still good. Most of them are still being used or some of them could still be used. And um, it was way too quick, but... Again, it was cool. Demiurge is a cool character. Uh, sadly, my character automatically, you know, my, my luck here uh, is not that good in PvP. She's mainly good for the rat, but I don't, I don't really need a rat unit right now. But hey, you have to use their own. Update direction for the second half of um, the 2024 uh, for Grand Cross. We'd like to inform you about the update direction for Grand Cross, which is currently being prepared by the development team for the second half of 2024. In the first half of 2024, we attempted to change the way we operate updates in order to um, bring something new to the uh, to the stable game flow that has been in place for a long time. We made small changes to the gameplay, such as adding the concept of the four, man, uh, four horsemen of apocalypse, reorganizing the battle menu, adding adventure journal and hero's book. In addition, we have prepared brand new updates and events to experience, such as Merlin's Laboratory, where players can check their records, the production of special original records that can uh, you can enjoy for the OST of the main characters that have been produced so far, and a special world tournament where the strongest players can serve, uh, or each from each server can face off each other uh, to commemorate the fifth anniversary. In addition, with um, regard to the update process for new characters that uh, players are looking towards or forward to, we have to try, or uh, we have tried, making changes to shorten the festival cycle along with introduction of UR characters so that we can maximize the appeal of new characters while providing many diamond rewards. Of course, as many players were interested in this change, we understand that there were shortcomings and inconveniences along the way. The development team is listening to your opinions and is considering the direction of further changes uh, internally. Um, in the second half of the year, we will continue to listen to your feedback and make adjustments to improve the game and add new content to meet your expectations. Uh, we will introduce these in the next, um, or some of these things next, uh, in this developer note. Uh, so this one, not the next one. Um, festival update uh, cycle. The development team has taken your feedback seriously regarding the fast-paced festival schedule implemented in the first half of the year. Uh, in the first half of the year's update, we tried to make seasonal festivals more rewarding and provide various rewards and trading materials. However, we found that the process placed a greater burden on players than expected. Although we were able to receive more training materials and diamond support um, through this first half of the festival, uh, season of festivals. We believe that the frequent appearance of new characters is becoming a burden on players. Based on this issue, we are currently discussing the direction of future festival cycles. We will make an endeavor to uh, make changes for the better um, based on your opinions. Um, yeah, so I still stand by this and I think that anybody will stand by this too. The festival cycle isn't a problem right now 
uh, it isn't a problem theoretically if you gave the gems to compensate for it. The last two festivals were mediocre on gems. I make gem guides, right? Um, recently I haven't, but I made gem guides. Um, and I can tell you for a fact that, you know, Gother was like a great thing. It was like, yeah, you act, no one really complained other than, oh my God, it's a festival Gother. No one really complained that much because you had so many gems. You have 500 gems, bro. You have 500 gems. Most people were able to win and get that character and have so many gems saved up. What happened was after that, they just kept on lowering the gem count. It kept on getting lower and lower. You can't do that. You got to keep the thing consistent to around 400 to 500 and everyone's fine. If, if anybody complains over the festival cycle when it's 400 to 500 free gems every update, then the player just honestly is wrong. It's simply the case. You're getting 450 to 500 gems per update and you're getting a festival character. It's not happening half bad again the thing is they kept lowering the number they kept making it like 300 350 and you can't do that because you've you, you've already made a precedent where a, a festival in december gets us 300 gems this festival gets us 350 and you're rushing out how many more festivals so then it's an issue um i definitely think that an extra one or two festivals a year is fine uh, but again doing it one every single month or a collaboration uh, that gets rough and if you're not making it 500 free gems every time there's no reason to do it it's definitely wrong so uh, there's always the, the the give and take, but um, for the recent ones, they were lowering the amount more and more, which automatically makes it. That's why you feel the burn more, right? It's not that there's more festivals. You feel it more because they slowly stopped giving more gems. Once that happens, then we get into a situation. So that's the issue. But again, having an extra festival here and there is fine if you compensate for it, right? Because again, it wasn't there last year and last year was already a little bit of a hell thing to save for things, right? So again, if you compensate, there's no issues with it. Um, reducing fatigue and reorganizing the existing content. For a long time, Grand Cross has strived to provide new content uh, to give players the variety of fun. Um, no matter how interesting the piece of content is, the more it is repeated, the more you get used to it. Uh, is basically why we, we need new content. This year, we have introduced uh, content that players will uh, need to challenge and play over and over again, such as Demon King Battle, Transcendent Beast Battle. In response, we plan to focus on reorganizing and simplifying existing content um in updates until the end of the year uh, i would like to tell you about some of the things that we're currently planning versus training cave training cave is a piece of content that has been remodeled in the past but i think that there's many complex aspects of it uh, even after the remodeling as the content uh, has been around for a long time many players have become accustomed to it but that is why we are thinking of ways to make it easier to complete uh the content currently the development team is preparing a feature that allows players to skip all battles in the training cave as uh, at once if certain conditions are met we are planning to make this change possible through this update uh, update in september there you go 10 out of 10 great job the issue with the game <laughs> training cave i don't even play it dude i'll be honest with you i don't play training cave it is horrible it's like it gets so boring takes too, uh, too much time but uh, allowing you to skip everything if it's a good system, I'll take it. Definitely uh, needs a revamping training game, 100%. Improved reward acquisition method for Hero Arena. Hero Arena is a content designed to allow players who are not members of a Knight Order to experience a simulated um, Knight Order competition and allow players who are currently participating in the Knight Order competition to acquire materials to develop their characters while playing without any burden. However, we are aware that the long season-based um, event period and method of obtaining rewards which requires clearing all defensive teams can be burdensome and tiring for players uh then we uh gradually um and we gradually plan to eliminate that issue first we plan to prioritize adjustments to the method of obtaining the rewards we plan to relax the criteria for receiving rewards so that you can receive rewards according to the clear stage even if you did not defeat the uh, defending teams in the league in addition we plan to revise the difficulty selection so that it will be easier to select the difficulty level as we plan to gradually improve event period and other aspects we will provide more updates um, to the content in question via notifications so fixing the rewards and making it easier to clear that's their plan correct and instead of having to full clear the entire stage you have to full clear only you know a few stages in the bigger stage itself which is fine right uh, multiple play against Demon King. The Demon King battle is a content designed to allow players to experience the fun of neutralizing the Demon King and clearing the stage by using cards that meet the conditions presented by the Demon King according to the situation. We also added a new training element called True Awakening with the intention of allowing players to experience the fun of battle and training. However, after completing the True Awakening of the character currently being used, the ultimate goal will be um, to true awaken all the characters that have appeared which requires players to play the demon king many times which ends up taking players uh so much time and making them tired rather than satisfied to uh, improve this issue we're planning to add a feature that will increase the reward multiplier for memory crystal boxes based on the amount of coins registered allowing players to earn memory crystals faster with fewer plays we are also planning to add this update within september 
That is a feature straight out of solo leveling. Basically, I can register three um, coins, uh, ult coins, correct? And I can clear it three times by playing it one time, which is something solo leveling has. So again, they're taking features. Merlin Laboratory, that's straight out of uh, 70 title. Uh, straight out of, uh, uh, what is it, solo leveling? That's a feature, correct? Where, again, I can, I can register, we don't know how many is max, but let's say, for example here, I can register 10 ult coins. I register the 10 ult coins, I play it once, and I cleared it 10 times, basically. It multiplies everything by 10, because, again, I put 10 coins in. It's 10 runs in one. That's good. That's actually freaking good. It's it's the same thing. You don't want to have to farm all six freaking uh, beasts that you get, the, uh, the demon beast, right? OG demon or, or Belmoth. But you can farm it because of 3-3. Three, three. Uh, you can farm it two times because, you know, they, they give you the three multiplier. So it's uh, clearing two times instead of six, which is good. So 10 out of 10. I'll take that. Um, addition of new content and revision of existing content. So now we're on another uh, tangent here. As we mentioned in regards uh, to the update direction of the second half um, of this year, uh, in addition to reducing the fatigue from existing content, we would like to inform you about new content that we're planning to add to provide new fun and changes to the existing content. Reorganization of the Underground Labyrinth. It's been a long time since we've had an Underground Labyrinth that lets you experience roguelike combat. In the case of the seasonal underground labyrinth, we will make adjustments to allow players to have a slightly different experience by varying the structure of the deeper levels and passive abilities depending on whether it's a collaboration or regular season. But we felt that the limitations due to the overall content structure um, basically sucks. Uh, in the upcoming uh, second half of this year, we are preparing to add elements that um, allow you... Um, or basically elements for uh, difficulty selection, rankings, and new squares to give players a slightly different experience in exploring the underground labyrinth. So difficulty selection, rankings, and new squares to give players a slightly different experience. In the revamped underground labyrinth, players can choose to challenge dungeons of higher difficulty. We plan to provide players with the opportunity to experience fun and honorable challenges and competition through rankings based on the challenge results. We hope this revamp, along with the new strategy elements added, will provide... Um, an opportunity for players to brag about their underground labyrinth strategy with other players. Uh, further details will be provided in a separate notice. In my opinion, 10 out of 10. You have to remember something. The only content that doesn't really get changed is underground labyrinth. Because labyrinth is actually good. Most players like it. Uh, yes, players still complain about it, which I, I, I'm i shocked at because it's a non-whale heavy content. It's just a hard, yeah, hard content. You have to understand the game, the essence of the game to do. Um, but this is good. They, they didn't really have to make changes to underground labyrinth because it was such a good mode. But they're adding a new thing over here of rankings. Like, hey... It's, it's not whale-based. You just have to be smart and go to the game. And then you can do it, right? And also have some RNG on there. But still, better than most other PvP content. So if anybody complains about this, dude, the GC community needs to just quit. <laughs> they need to just quit, dude. This is, this is not bad, actually. Um, new minigame, Percival's Adventure. We are planning to add some new minigames to add freshness to the minigames uh, that players enjoy. The minigame we are preparing is um, based on the concept of the Four Horsemen, uh, and it's based on the major game format. Of course, we'll take into consideration the criteria for or, uh, earning rewards so that you don't feel b uh, burdened or forced to play a certain amount every day. We uh, hope that through these minigames, you'll be able to enjoy the little world of Four uh, Horsemen of Apocalypse that you have been waiting for. Event Boss Reorganization. Event boss battles um, are play event content that appears for every major event. However, players who remember the first appearance of the Chimeras or, again, uh, Malak will know the difficulty level uh, was different than it is now. For the initial event boss battles, we adjusted the balance so that uh, both new players and experienced players can enjoy it. But after repeated play for a long time, we think that it's simple content um, for obtaining rewards. In order to bring back the fun of, of challenging early uh, event bosses and finding strategies to share, the development team is considering implementing a method in which players can challenge event bosses with a slightly higher difficulty level depending on their uh, training state and earn event rewards more quickly. Of course, um, we plan to make changes uh, to the event remains open to all players. Uh, at the same time, we are aiming to make these changes in October so that players can compete or complete the event more quickly by taking on a higher difficulty level. Basically, nobody can complain about that either. If you want a harder difficulty, right, and you want to complete that harder difficulty, you don't get anything extra. You just get it faster. Instead of doing 10 hard runs, you do one hell run, right, which is fine. For, for players who are experienced, it's, it's not a bad change. Um, added challenger coins for PvP uh, Fight Festival Brawl. 
Um, one of the most important contents to uh, grant across the PvP, it is a window where you can earn diamonds every week through the Fight Festival uh, General and is an attractive content that allows you to compete for growth and strategy in the Fight Festival Advanced and the Championship. Until now, you could not receive any rewards if you played the Championship during the period um, when it was not in Champion uh, Season. Nevertheless, for players who enjoy the championship, we plan to reorganize it so you can earn rewards that are useful for playing. In this update at the um, end of August, we plan to add challenger coins to the rewards for the championship. You can exchange new artifact cards and costume enhancement materials through challenger coins, which can uh, you can earn along with festival coins um, that can be earned by playing uh, the existing festival. We uh, hope that players uh, will enjoy the new PvP Fight Festival even more. In addition to the reorganization and existing content as mentioned above, we are also preparing to unveil new PvP content and new rules that players can enjoy without burden and PvE content that players can enjoy with minimal burden in the second half of the year. Uh, more details will be provided in the future developer notes. So we're getting a new PvP content with new rules and we're getting a PvE content that is minimal burden. Not bad. Uh, but yeah, we're getting, again, coins basically added. They're like, they're, they're the Fight Festival coins uh, where you can buy stuff in the shop, which is pretty cool for the most part. Uh, last but not least, only one tab left here and we're done. 16 minute video, I'm sorry, but hey, you know, <laughs> it's rare I make these. Battle event, uh, battle menu improvements. The battle menu is a UI that many players uh, use most frequently and it uh, plays an important role in allowing quick access to all the content. Recently, the seasonal content was added and the battle menu was reorganized to uh, focus on the more important content. But in the process, some content was removed due to limitations in the screen and content replacement. In particular, the case of Brawl. Even though it is a permanent content, there is no access button to the battle event at all. It becomes inconvenient to use. So basically, they added it in a more intuitive way. They put Super Boss Battle at the top, Underground Labyrinth at the top, and Hurion at the top, which is fine, right? Um, and that's it. So we already got that. It, it's a good change for the most part. That's really it. In this developer note, we plan, uh, we have focus on the direction of the updates for the second half of the year. We will continue to provide information on various content and updates that players can look forward to. We plan to gradually update the information uh, we have shared with you by the end of the year, and we'll provide more details in the developer notes that come after. We will continue to do our best to satisfy our players and make every effort for that. And then, yeah, we hope we continue to support the game. Pretty simple stuff here. So, for the most part, it's a pretty good dev uh, developer notes. Again, it's a bigger one, which is automatically good because they say more, at least, right? Um, overall, like, the, the, the Fight Festival thing, not bad. The event organization, pretty good, right? It is pretty good, let's be honest here. Um, over here... New minigame for Percival. We'll see exactly how fun it is. They've, they've made some very bad minigames, let's be honest here. Reorganization of Underground Labyrinth. I think it's sick, and honestly, I'm ready for it. Multiple play against Demon King. 10 out of 10. Improved uh, reward acquisition method for Hurina. Okay. I mean, I'm cool with that too. Training Cave, I guess, yeah. Festival Cycle update. We'll see exactly what they mean by this. How many festivals do they chalk out? I still think that having a summer festival was good. It was a good theory. In, in theory, right? It's just compensate accordingly don't make it like 300 gems then there's no point to the festival you're doing too many festivals then uh it was 500 you're getting an extra 200 dude remember 500 gems for free for free plus the 400 gems that you get for just playing the game you're automatically at 900 and then the next month after you get a collaboration but you have 400 gems to save the collaboration gives you 100 you know 150 so and most of the time you you win right if it's not a festival every month also right but uh, to each their own, I still think that if it, if it is a festival here and there extra, I'm okay with it. Just compensate accordingly. Um, update direction for the second half of the year was fine. And then again, they brought the collaboration back because you loved it. That's why. So pretty standard dev notes. Let me know what you think. Um, I, I think it's pretty good. But uh, again, we'll see what they uh, they plan to do with the things. They, they say it. Let's see how it turns in game. Correct? So take care. Have fun. That's been for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's all I got for you today. Yeah.